Hope is not just any other word. It's much deeper than that. It's the essence of our being. They say hope is the only common good in all people because we cease to exist without it. Hope transcends cultures, ages and backgrounds. This means we all hope regardless of where we come from, our creed, race, religion or nation. Hope is like an engine moves us, inspires us, ignites us and drives us like fuel it runs us. We have life goals, purpose and passage but it's hope, the belief that we can achieve what we pursue that makes all this possible. What happens when we lose hope? You lose your core, your engine. It's like losing the very reason you exist. Your life then feels like one unending spiral fall towards doom. Like a drowning man, we are clutching on, grasping onto the last straws. Since hope is an engine, we can't afford to lose it. We should not lose it, right? Wrong. In reality, we sometimes lose it. What do we do when this happens? Give up? Sometimes it's okay to give up. This doesn't mean we're done. This isn't real. See, when all seems lost, we have to look towards the end of the tunnel, the light in the distance. There's a shoulder when your body is frail and your legs can't keep up. When you're out of breath, there's a friend in Jesus. Look up. Christ is that friend. It's not done. Your situation is temporary. Your joblessness not permanent. Your health will be rejuvenated. You'll thrive again. The trials and tribulations of the world might take away your hope. The world might condemn us, but we are not condemned. See, while in Adam and Eve death began, in Christ hope never ends. The promise of our regeneration is eternal. Our friendship in Christ is reliable. In Romans 5, 6, Christ died for us when we were done. Hope does not put us to shame because in Christ we are not done. That is what we live for. Our hope in Christ never ends. That's why we keep living in Christ, walking towards Christ and hoping in Christ.